Uh, welcome to church today. My name is uh, Pastor Moridi Wanjao, Pastor M, Senior Pastor of Mabuno Church. And I'm so excited to say Happy New Month. Uh, what a great time for us to be in church today. I'm so excited this uh, month as we're starting the month. Uh, there's great things happening this month. The first thing I want to just talk about is, hey, this uh, starting tomorrow, uh, the 5th, of September, we're actually beginning a week of prayer and fasting. And uh, some of you who've been part of our community for a long time, you know that this is something we do uh, regularly as a church. We get to a place where we abstain from uh, from from food, and we're able to just spend that time instead praying and seeking God. And and it's our habit usually as a church to do a liquid fast, and that's what I'm inviting you to join me in doing uh, starting tomorrow. Uh, for those of you who would like to know more about that, you can actually go online. There's a link on your screen right now that helps you just begin to understand how to do a fast and what kind of fast God is calling us to. But we want to invite you to do this and do it with us all the way until next Sunday uh, is when we're going to break the fast. And it's always a time of joy and breakthrough for us as a church whenever we come before God with just expectation in our hearts and we just come before Him and uh, wait on Him uh, together and I can't wait to see what, uh, what, what intense uh, experiences with God we have uh, over this time and the testimonies that will come out of this time also just to say that family night is back woohoo uh, starting this coming Wednesday uh, the 7th we're going to have family night at 5.30 and so if you uh, that's a time when we come together as a family uh, to just engage with what God is specifically saying to us as a church family and I'd like to invite every single one of you who's not been part of family night join us as we resume uh, connecting as a family every Wednesday night and I uh, can't wait to see you can't wait to see you there today my heart is so full of thankfulness uh, God has been so amazing to us uh, even as we come to a time of giving uh, this month is just going to be a month of celebration. We're going to be celebrating testimonies of things that God has done among us, uh, way God, the way God has provided for us uh, this whole year as a church. And, and today, I'm, in fact, the thought that I have, the verse that's really on my heart as we give is 2 Corinthians 2.14. It says, But thanks be to God, who always leads us as captives in Christ's triumphal possession and uses us to spread the aroma of His knowledge about Him everywhere and you know God has been so faithful to us he's been so gracious to us he's used us and blessed us in return in the whole process and um, and, and as as we give my prayer is that your heart will be full of thankfulness uh, some of you have been giving faithfully towards our free the future initiative and this is the last month where we're we're, we're we're talking about that because we want to close at the end of September and trust God see how much we've been able to raise uh, by that time so if you've not uh, finished uh, your free the future uh, commitment I want to just challenge you take a step of faith and, and and take that risk and finish this month and let's just trust God I'm really trusting God that we're gonna have incredible testimonies as a church as we see what God has done in response to our faithfulness in that way but right now I just want allow me to just pray for us in Thanksgiving as we anticipate uh, hearing testimonies about what God has done uh, in and through us but also as we anticipate listening to his word father we thank you uh, we bless you we honor you what a great God you are. Thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph. You've blessed us. You've blessed our families. You've blessed our homes. Yes, indeed, the world is going through a difficult time. Our nation has been through difficult times. But Father God, we thank you that you have been enough for us. Jaira, you have been enough for us. And so Lord, we just thank you. We, we just say that Lord, help us to be content in you. Help us to find our hope in you. Uh, give us a sense of thanksgiving of just knowing that as long as we have you, we have everything. And so I just speak over your people right now that, Lord, you just give us expectant hearts to hear from you, to hear your word, and to rejoice in you. And that, Lord, everything you intend for us today, it will be done. It will be done in Jesus' name. And so I bless you, God's people, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God's people say it together. Amen.